the lesser evil. Evil is evil, Stragomor. Lesser, greater, middling. It's all the same. I'm not judging you. I haven't only done good in my life either. But now, if I have to choose between one evil and another, then I prefer not to choose at all. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trevi Trev, and I'm back with another video. Wanted to give y'all a little bit of a different view today because, you know, I'm going to just talk about, you know, my usual up-to-date current event topics, but I wanted to take advantage of the scenery because, bro, it's beautiful outside, it's fall, and it feels like summer, and, you know, I just wanted to step outside a little bit, so nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I wanted to give y'all this nice little waterfall view because I'm about to talk about one of these current event topics, which is why I'm not voting this year and why I refuse to vote for either Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. Because personally, just like that clip showed, I don't think either candidate is pretty good. I don't think either candidate is good. And I'd rather not support evil of any kind because I don't believe Kamala Harris is good for men. And I don't believe Donald Trump, Donald Trump is a truth teller. So I don't want to vote for any any candidate. And I just decided to stay neutral this election. And I've gotten a lot of flack for that because a lot of people in my in my uh, government position, they like to say, oh, if you don't vote for this person, it's supporting this person. Or, oh, you're directly supporting evil if you don't choose at all. And I'm like, honestly, bro, either way, my vote is irrelevant because these are the two popular candidates. So one of them is going to win regardless of if I vote or not because so many people throughout the country are gonna support these people. So it doesn't matter whether I vote or not. And usually I partake in the election because I do believe in free speech. I do believe in free elections and protected elections. But this year I decided against it because I truly, I truly genuinely do not believe in either candidate because neither of them has proven to be trustworthy. Like I could go through a whole laundry list of why I don't like either candidate and why we should get someone younger someone who's trustworthy i could do a lot of like different things but i'm not trying to get too political because that's not what i do on this channel but you know i work in a government position i felt like you know i had to share my my opinion on this because a lot of people they feel different ways and you know i don't want people to feel ab abnormal if they feel the same way i do because honestly neither of these people are good for the country and honestly i'm gonna i, I have the opinion of i'm gonna go to work regardless regardless of who wins i'm gonna show up and do my job because that's what I believe in. That's what I believe in as an American is being responsible. But these two candidates, personally, I just can't support either of them and they don't get my vote or sign of approval because they're both pretty lame. Like you can look up, you can look up Kamala Harris's track record. She lies so much. Like she got on the Breakfast Club and I remember this interview because it was in 2020. She got on the Breakfast Club and lied about listening to Snoop Dogg and Tupac. And I'm like, bro, if she lies about something that minor when she wasn't even like in college when these people were like popular what else will she lie about and it's like i can't i can't full-heartedly say as a man that i would rock with her because she doesn't support helping men she wants to take away protections from men she wants to take away rights from black people she wants to do all these different things and if you really research it it's not helping us it's not it and trump we've already had four years of this dude so we know what he's about and if you're from New Jersey, you know Trump is one of the first people to own a casino and have it shut down. I, how you own a casino and have it shut down is basically printing money. And Trump lies. All these politicians lie. And it's like, I can't in good consciousness support either candidate. But I will give Donald Trump a point. Life was kind of better when he was in charge. You know, gas was cheap. Rent was affordable. Things were decent. But like, I'm not going to give a spade a spade because a lot of that stuff bleeds over from the previous president. Just like this president. It's like... You never know with these political things. And I just uh, decided to myself, bro, I'm going to stay neutral. I'm going to stay out of the political discourse. And I'm going to do my job. Because honestly, people are too passionate about people who don't care about them at all. Not even remotely. Because at the end of the day, these people will be rich and you'll be middle class. So deriding them, supporting them doesn't help you one bit. You got to support yourself. And you do that by building for yourself. And, you know, I'm out here in nature. I'm thinking of these things. I'm hearing the, the constant influences in my ear. And I just wanted to think freely. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. People may give me flack for that. They may, be, they may call me an idiot for not supporting them. But I just genuinely believe, no, I'm not doing either of it. So November, nobody asked me who I'm voting for. I don't care who wins. It does not matter in the grand scheme of things unless it improves the economy, it improves the world. And that's just how I feel about it. And yes, I am a government employee. 
and you know i have to work for the government and i can't say i can't do certain things but you know my opinion is my opinion and you know whether my position at work is is here or there it doesn't matter i'm still going to talk my, my stuff and be real and genuine because i don't support either candidate and i'm just going to keep it real with y'all because honestly when you see a lot of these different things in society you got to have your own voice among all the other voices but I just wanted to make this quick video, give you all the nature scenery and just talk about this current event in case of you guys are undecided about voting. But honestly, as my viewers, pick who you wanna pick. I'm never gonna tell y'all who to pick. I'm never gonna put my own personal biases in. I'm gonna give y'all my opinion. I'm gonna show y'all the clip and y'all can decide from there. Because honestly, most of y'all who watch my channel, I looked at my demographics are grown functioning adults. So choose as you will. But I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say and that's how it's gonna be. But anyway, Hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy this video. Enjoy the, the beautiful opulence. Enjoy the sunlight. And just get back to me because this is going to be one of the last outside videos because it's fall. It's going to get colder. I'm going to start pulling my Tims out. And I'm just going to get out of this nature setting because it's about to be fall, then winter. And I can't really make videos outside. So I'm going to enjoy it while it's here. You know, the rain's getting on my camera a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to record this video and get it to you guys. But like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. And I'm out.